Frankie Benali is not only Quiet Riot's drummer, but he's also the boss of the band. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Frankie Benali has been Quiet Riot's drummer since the early 80s. He was there for Come On and Feel the Noise and Metal Health. But the guy's pretty organized and, well, he's now the manager of the band. When the band asked me to manage them in 1993 when we were recording the uh, Terrified record, you know, they, they knew that I'm, that I'm very methodical, that I'm very uh, focused. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't have a problem doing that aspect of it because what's good for Quiet Riot is good for me and what's good for me is good for Quiet Riot. Um, but I also have the ability of, I'll be business all day long, but as soon as, uh, as, soon as I take a shower and put on you know, my stage clothes, uh, that guy completely leaves my body. And, uh, and I'm, you know, that, that 14 year old kid that can't wait to be, get behind the drums and start to play. When you left home for the first time, when you left home, what kind of stuff was in your record collection back then? Oh, it, it, I still have it. I'm, lo- you know, I'm looking at my office right now. I've got over 3,500 pieces of vinyl. You know, everything from the, the first two records I ever, I ever got, my father gave me, who wasn't, he wasn't a musician, but he gave me a Miles Davis record and he gave me a uh, Max Roach record. The first record I ever bought uh, was, I think it was called Introducing the Beatles, which was the first U.S. Beatles record, uh, which I still have. But my collection runs the gamut. I mean, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, last night I was listening to two records that I bought in 1967. One of them is uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience, uh, Are You Experienced? And the other one is, uh, is a Leonard Bernstein conducting the music of Bartok, which is a concerto for two pianos, percussion, and orchestra. So, you know, my tastes run the gamut. I love that. Steve Hackett told me a month ago, he says, people are always amazed by I listen to classical music. He says, why can't I? Yeah, and, and, and funk. I mean, I, I, have, I have so much James Brown and Fly in the Family Stone, B.B. Uh, King. I mean, my, my record collection, the one thing you cannot criticize about it is saying that, it, that it's not varied because it even, it even has like some European uh, fusion bands from the 70s that, you know, like a band called Exception or Triumvirate Exception, I think, were Dutch and Triumvirate were German. Of course, PFM, which were Italian. These were all 70s progressive bands that, you know, by and large, most people are are still unaware that they ever existed. So my record collection is pretty dope, as the kids say. One Night in Milan is the brand new album, of course, a live album from Quiet Riot. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up. Also remember, check out our other channels. We've got three other channels. I had a a few volunteers who were going to volunteer for this channel. They ended up wanting to have more to do with entertainment. They actually, a few of them asked me, hey, why don't you do more entertainment type stuff? And I'm going, well, that's not the channel. Rocky Stream Music's about breaking music news and new interviews. So we started another channel called Nail Sheet, which is going to cover, like I said, entertainment, movies, top tens, which I love doing that kind of stuff. And then if you like Canadian rock, we have Rock History Canada. We're putting a lot of our vintage and new Canadian interviews on there. We're also going to look at old Canadian charts and what was number one in 1976. And then there's Rock History Book. And and remember, there'll be links to all these channels in the description of this video. Rock History Book, I know a lot of you have subscribed to this where we look at top tens internationally. We'll look at an album track by track. There's a lot of interviews on there as well. So check out the links in the description of this video. And by the way, thanks for all the folks who are sharing our videos on Facebook. That means so much to us, especially when you share them on an artist group or something like that. Like when we're covering metal, you'll put it on a metal group. And when we're covering, you know, the Eagles, like I said last time, you'll put it on an Eagles Facebook group. That's really nice of you. We appreciate that. So I'm John Bowden. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is Rock History Music. Mm